Welcome, you're here because you wanna wake up. I'm not gonna do some intro or some, you know, text or buy my course, let's just get right into it. It can seem a little confusing at first, but it's actually crucial to understanding how the modern financial system works. Fractional Reserve Banking and Centralized Banks. So you're gonna have some questions, what is fractional reserve banking? Essentially, it's the practice of banks holding only a fraction of their deposits in reserve whilst lending out the rest. For example, let's say a bank has $100. Under fractional reserve banking, the bank might only hold on to 10 in reserve and lend out the other 90. This might seem risky, but it's actually a key part on how banks make money. By lending out the majority of their deposits, they can earn interest on those loans and generate profits. But at the same time, it can also be super risky because it relies on the assumption that not all depositors will withdraw all their money at the same time. Let's say that they do decide to do that. It could create a run on the bank and potentially lead to a financial crisis. This is something we've seen play out in countries like China. The economy has been so reliant on fractional reserve banking and credit expansion. You need to look into it. That's why in the recent years, they faced a ton of economic slowdown as a result of fractional reserve banking. Now quickly, we can move on and talk about centralized banks. These are the financial institutions that are responsible for managing a country's monetary policy and issuing its currency. In most countries, the central bank is a government controlled institution that has an immense amount of power. You can't even comprehend the influence that they have. I don't know how many people I have to tell, they control everything. You think the president does what he wants? Take a look into these banks. You really look into it, they go beyond monetary policy. Like these banks have a overall impact on the entire economy because they have the ability to influence the availability of credit and the cost of borrowing. This is why if you really wanna make money, you need to understand what it is, where it comes from and how it's made. They control absolutely everything. If you guys really wanna look into it, this is who Andrew Tate is talking about. A great example of what's happening in China. There are people outside of banks demanding for their money. They have money in the banks and it's poof, their money is gone. It is nowhere. Just like that, numbers on a screen, gone. Instantly to zero. Anyway, this is just a quick little rant that I had to put out. I feel like everybody needs to know about this and a lot of people my age, you know, if you wanna make money, um, you need to know where it comes from, so thank you for watching.